Alrighty, what's going on everybody? In today's video, we're gonna be replacing the battery inside of this Gold Zero Yeti 150. Uh, the old battery here lasted about five years. I bought this unit back in 2017 and I used it quite extensively, uh, charging my GoPros and my iPhone and laptops and other things like that. I actually ran a 60 watt um, heat cable on a cushion for the underside of my camping pad and that really put the most drag on this battery I think but the other battery that was in here held up for about five years which is the average time that they last for so I'm probably going to recycle that old battery here in a few days at the local recycling center but in order to access the ports or the two terminals to replace the battery there are four screws on the top of the Yeti 150. I don't know what size this is. This looks like a Torx 25 or a Torx 20. And then the top of this bad boy should just come right off. And yeah, there you go. So the replacement battery that I have is a Mighty Max battery that I got from Amazon. The specifications with this battery uh, it's a 12 volt, 15 amp hour, rechargeable, sealed lead acid battery, which is a good uh, replacement option for this. All right, so here's a look on the inside. These are the two terminals that we need to hook the battery up to. Red for positive, black for negative. Let me go ahead and get the protective caps off of the terminals. Oh, and that was the other thing I was going to do before installing this battery was checking it with a voltmeter to see what the charge is currently at. Volts DC, or 12.73, which is good as compared to The old battery currently is resting at 7.49 volts. So, this battery passes the test. Basically, I'm gonna pick her on up here. Slide in. And there's some pre existing insulation that goal zero installs and uh yeah that's it now i'm going to install the positive terminal first and the negative terminal second there may be a little bit of arcing so just watch out for that get the top cover back on really don't need to crank these cap nut bolts down all too much, but I am going to give them a little hug with the grip and leverage, but we have the ratcheting on, so I'm just using pressure and the leverage from the wrench to snug these down to spec. And just tighten them until they don't turn no more. And that's, that's it. And that's pretty much it. That's how you replace the battery inside of your Goal Zero Yeti 150. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description for the replacement battery. And uh, hopefully you guys like the video and it's uh, pretty, pretty useful for your application. All right, and one last thing to mention before I go is to plug this bad boy in immediately after you install the battery. Don't really mess with turning it on, just go ahead and uh, get the adapter. I have the wall plug here uh, plugged in and plugged into my Gold Zero Yeti 150. And that is how you replace your battery from this to this.